Greetings everyone, my name is Attervale, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of A Star of Chrome, a 2D top-down action-adventure game in development by Shu at Art. I'll be spending up to half an hour in this demo, giving my first impressions along the way. Twenty XX. Mars is no longer a dead planet. Decades of work have gone into its transformation. Thousands of young people are leaving the Martian cities for the frontier. You've packed up everything you own, and along with your best friend, you struck out too. But it wasn't to be. Along the way, Disaster struck. And afterwards, we wake up in this house. We must have got jumped by bandits. This is the Martian West, after all. There will be far more Zelda parallels as we go further. We got a shield! And a hat! So, to the graveyard. We even have the ability to roll. Ah. Uh. So the intro is a combination of Link's Awakening and the Minish Cap. Link's Awakening in the sense that we wake up in the bed and acquire a shield. Minish Cap in the sense that we can roll around the place. The Catacombs. Huh. That was odd. He was rather particular of where I could push it. We found the map. Poor Koopas. Skulls? Teaching me that I can drop them into the pit. Hello there, mysterious floating figure. Vanta. And we procured a sword. And we can even spin attack with it. This game isn't even trying to hide its Zelda inspirations now. But hey, I like the Oracle games, so I'm not complaining.
Who puts the sword in the catacombs? Let's talk with some of the townspeople first. This also reminds me of the introduction to both Oracle games, in the sense that you start by going through a short dungeon, a very short and easy one. Hmm, in the final game, likely several side quests will start and end here. King Cobalt for theft, murder, jaywalking, and poor hygiene. What happened to you? Are you drunk? Way ahead of you. Hmm, what's down that well? Let's take a peek. Wait a minute. Isn't this the Game Over team from the Oracle games? You mean a heart piece? Lefty! Can your twin, Righty, tell me about the past? I think the overworld team is unique. I'm not sure. Need a hammer or a rock's feather. Here's the map. What's with the boat? This gas station has seen better days. It could be from Seasons. This house is in a state of disrepair.
devils. Remember that for later. There's the forest. Basically, red potions. Hearts, dynamite, and a gun. Come on, I wanna buy it. Basically, bombs. Have I checked everything? Almost. I can blow this up. Don't tell me there are going to be fake walls here. I have to access it from the other side. There must be a staircase somewhere. Not there. I'll come back to this later. Enough delaying. We're off to the forest now. Tibia Wood. I could explore the eastern part of the town, but I'll save that for later. Or perhaps for the next demo. These must be the kobolds they were mentioning. Those look spiny. Better. No, these are actual kobolds. Ah, I need a small key for this. Interesting. Usually we only use small keys when in dungeons. Hello there. We're going in. Kobold Hideaway. The first true dungeon of this game. Okay. 
So far, this game is basically Martian Zelda. Try it again. Why can't you move? That's odd. It should have worked earlier. All the music tracks are likely placeholders. Hmm, not quite. I strongly believe the first item I'm going to acquire is either going to be the Rock's Feather or the Hookshot. I thought I needed a key to open it. So for all this time, the chests were openable. I just misinterpreted the symbol. Mini boss time. This must be Moldworm's cousin. Wait, I wanted that. And our reward is... The Boomerang. I'm not really using the shield at all, so I'll assign it to that. This should work as well. Honestly, for a first enemy type, these jumping skeletons are more dangerous than what you expect. I would have much preferred equivalents to the Keys or Octoroks.
Boss time, King Kobold. He has guns too. I see something's on top of him. Maybe I have to boomerang onto it? Because I don't think my sword is doing anything. No, he's actually taking damage every time I strike him with the sword. I thought the flashing was indicating something else. At least I think that's what's happening. The feedback needs to be made more obvious. I only see a flash. In Zelda games, when you strike and damage enemies and bosses, they make a pretty obvious sound effect. And we acquired an extra heart. I wonder what this tiny flame is about. The Kobold King was wearing it for all this time. This first dungeon was nice. Once I realized you could open those chests without using a key, it became very straightforward. Hello developer. In fact, I should probably grab that right now. No, this is the way out, actually. Never mind, we're out of here. <laughs> so here are my overall thoughts. This is basically a Zelda game taking place on a Martian version of the Old West. The graphics and music definitely remind me of the Game Boy Color era, albeit with a richer color palette and no audio popping. Gameplay was fairly solid as well, Although, I have one major critique. As Jaden pointed out, this game needs some improvement on a kinesthetic feedback front. This is why I had some trouble during the boss fight. I didn't know if I was dealing damage to him or not. I thought I maybe had to use the boomerang in order to make him vulnerable. In any case, this demo shows promise. I wish the best of luck to the developers of this title. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.